Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to the second section to the Azura's Wrath demo. This is episode 11, the final lesson, and this is the boss fight against your mentor slash master, who's called August, I think, I think his name is, this fella, who looks a hell of a lot like you, and a lot like, you know, a giant bearded Zeus, tattooed chested ogre dude, but... You'll notice I've not been calling these walkthroughs of the demo like I've done before when I first started my channel. And the main reason for this is it's very difficult to fail on this game. The, the the difficulty on the demo must be either super easy or this must be the way the game was intended to be. But it's almost impossible to fail. You will need to make hundreds of mistakes to die. Because uh, I have actually tried to die on this boss fight and it took forever. But this encounter is a little bit different from the last one because you will have to do some running around and do some fighting. But the fighting is really strange and interesting. So here it starts off. He'll attack you with a couple of punches which you can roll away from with the right bumper. Just be aware that the last punch has a shockwave attack which will knock you over if you don't evade it. So just wait for him, lead him on and dodge. As soon as you hit him, as soon as he finishes his attack, do a combo and uh, just, just bash B for a while and then finish up with Y. The Y will knock him away and interrupt his moves. Once you've done that, if you chase him down, you'll get a prompt on his body to do another move like I'm doing now, and you just rinse and repeat this one move, and it will end this phase exceptionally quickly. And I keep saying that word, I don't know why. But, the guy's a bit of a pussy in this first phase, and I got a really good pattern for him, because you can loop him with... As soon as you get that first combo off, he will keep running at you. You can keep countering it with Y, run over to his body, do the Y prompt and beat him up again and you'll have burst mode activated before you know where you are. Uh, the last phase of the fight where he gets his sword, which is coming up, uh, I didn't have a lot of success with because I've played the demo a little bit to try and figure out the, the patterns and try and, you know, figure out the best ways to win. And the fight seems to go down a little bit different every time because what I've noticed is you have to attack him, you can't just wait for him to do the attack that you can counter which is where he brings a big sword down and you catch it you need to beat him up to prompt that attack so you have to be aggressive but at the same time every time you get close to him he does he knocks you away and he he also evades you and it seems to be kinda of hit and miss whether or not you're gonna do damage to him what, one thing I did find is uh, when you, you beat him up if he's not getting stunned by it and he's still building his attack use the heavy attack with Y and usually it will interrupt whatever he's trying to do and he'll have to start charging again before he can do it it doesn't work every time as soon as it stops working that means you need to move away that's pretty much what I figured out but a couple of techniques as well for anybody that wants to, to play the game or play the demo a lot to try and you know enjoy it or if you're obsessed with it or anything like that uh, if you press back you will skip the cutscenes that do not involve quick time events so you can just get to the gameplay because there's a lot of talking in this and also, if you want to practice the patterns or practice, you know, just the mobility and getting used to it, or just an excuse to play the game longer than the demo allows, if you get your anger meter to burst and you don't press the right trigger, the game will just continue, the patterns will continue, and you can dodge and practice things against them. The only problem is you've got the giant burst font on the screen in front of you, which will obscure your view a little bit, but it does enable you to fight the boss as long as you want to and learn his moves. And uh, I've done that a little bit, but like I say, this, this second phase is a little bit random, and uh, it, it can catch you out. But luckily enough, the damage parameters are set so low, you never feel like you're being penalised. That being said, I get caught in mid-air doing a jump attack on him, and he counters me. And it does a lot of damage compared to the normal hit, so just be careful of that. But there's the, the, the mid-level cut. Here he is with his big angry sword. And... The first phase of the sword is, is after the quick time events and he's going to fire a bunch of grids at you which you just dodge in between and you cover distance to get towards him but be careful because depending on how he holds his sword will depend on where the, the energy comes from. He does lines that will come across horizontally and he does lines that come across vertically. The horizontal line needs to be jumped over, the, the, the vertical line needs to be dodged. So here you are, you're in control. So there's the vertical line. There's the horizontal line. Did you notice how he puts his arm behind him when he's doing the horizontal one? That makes it easier to see. When he charges up like that, it means he's going to dash towards you. And I was experimenting on this because when you jump and shoot, uh, it does a, a nice little lock-on for you. It doesn't pin you down to the ground. There's the counter that does massive damage to me. And uh, this is pretty much the, the, the start of the, the really messy boss fight that I try and do. Because it just doesn't work. But 
When you shoot him, you'll notice it builds up the unlimited bar at the bottom, and I probably should have gone into that mode and started beating him up, but it's just a case of covering ground and hitting him. If you can do the, the Y attack, you can interrupt his charges, but you'll notice this is going a little bit messy, and uh, as soon as he does this, this is when you can counter it. That's what you're waiting for, that's what you're trying to build him towards. There's probably a much quicker way to get him to do that attack. I'm going to keep playing the demo to see if I can figure it out for when the retail game comes out, but as it stands, uh, this boss fight just seems to be a little bit confusing. The first phase I've got down, I know how to conquer that one, because uh, there is a move I like to do where you jump and you hold B and you do a homing attack on the boss, where you kind of do a flying swallow or, or a stinger if you're familiar with, with those games, but sometimes he counters it and you need to be careful of that. There it is, the, the homing attack, there's the Y attack that knocks him on his back. That seems to be a, a good combination of moves to do. It gives you the Y prompt, and uh, just keep building up that that gorge for the burst mode. As soon as he does that, you can counter it with Y, and it's it's nice and simple. But <laughs> uh, I'm just curious how the arms work through the game, because you get more arms, the better you do. You lose arms, the worse you do. Oh, well, that's what the the designers mentioned in an interview. So hopefully, on the harder difficulties, that make that is a, a massive thing to watch for. But, yeah, it's, it's just kind of hard to really grasp what this game is going to be. Aside from really, you know, dramatic and climactic boss fights that involve quick time events and watching them more so than actually playing them. Which, I'm not against. I do think it's there's a place for that, because not a lot of games do it, mainly because people complain. But I do think that this was fun. I've played it about four times now, and each time I did enjoy it. I'm just um, curious to see if there's going to be any kind of ranking system in the game or, or score system, something like that, that gives it that replay value because action games generally have that and it's just one of those those things you come to expect. But once you've got to this part, this is practically the end of it and it's just going to be a lot of cutscenes, a lot of talking, a lot of fighting and uh, it's going to cut off before we get to find out how this one ends. But for all intents and purposes, this is Azura's Wrath. Uh, the demo is available on Xbox Live, I'm assuming it's available on the PSN. It's only about 600 meg, so I was able to download it, thankfully. And It's a lot of fun if you're interested, and if you just want to play something a bit silly, a bit different, feel free to check it out. Uh, I'm going to leave the, the cutscene to play out now so you can listen to the rest of it, but as per usual, guys, I will be doing a guide to this when it comes out. I can't wait for it. I think it comes February. But um, thanks for watching, thanks for taking the time, and you take care now. Understand with your fist, Asura! <laughs>